Hey, what's up guys? EY Stream here with five secret things you didn't know you can make in your very own Minecraft world. With no mods, no add-ons, and no commander blocks, including a zoom zoom race car bed, a very slick and stylish snowboard, the most adorable giant cat guard you have ever seen, a working newspaper stand, and my personal favorite, this incredible bamboo bridge we have an awesome lineup for you today which will work for any version of minecraft whether you guys are on an ipad iphone android playstation xbox pc or nintendo switch you'll be able to get some of this build action and if you can't get enough build action well then you should go follow my tiktok you can do that by searching ey stream on tiktok or by hitting the link in the description below because i just restarted posting daily build tips tricks and secrets so if you want to get the coolest builds before any of your friends do and you know show off to all of them then i highly recommend you go follow my TikTok now because you are not going to want to miss out on that but that's enough of me speaking guys go subscribe hit the bell leave a like we're going for 10 000 likes let's go ahead and get straight into build number one <laughs> Now to get us started for our race car bed, you're going to need one red bed, four black concrete powder, one red carpet, one red wool, four stone buttons, seven quartz stairs, and finally three quartz slabs. So first off, chuck down your bed wherever you want this race car bed to be. Then on the bottom half of the bed, you guys want to place one concrete powder to the left and then to the right. Then jump on the floor and crouch like so. Go ahead and place one red carpet on the bottom half of your bed. Then grab your red wall here and place this block behind the pillow of your bed and grab your black concrete powder and again place one to the left and one to the right. Then grab out your stone buttons and we're going to make these wheels look a bit more interesting by placing a stone button on the outside of each of these concrete powder blocks. Grab your quartz stairs and we're going to put this in front of the bottom of our bed. On the left hand side, you're going to place another quartz stair, but this one needs to be curved a little bit like this into the bed itself. And you're going to do the exact same thing on the right hand side. Go ahead and come to these two little gaps and you want to fill them in with quartz stairs. Very, very simple. Now, this is the front of our car, but it looks a little bit odd because this race car doesn't have a spoiler. And, you know, race cars aren't cool unless they have spoilers. So, we're going to grab our quartz labs and you want to place one in the top left corner and one in the top right corner. Then, grab your quartz stairs and you want to place these upside down like so. I stuffed it up. Guys, it's actually very difficult to place stairs like this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn both of these into blocks for the time being. And then you're going to place your quartz stairs upside down like that. And you'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Bloop. Oh, there we go. Come on. Yes, I can do it. We're going to do that. And then we can turn these both back to slabs. Join up your two stair blocks with one slab. And boom, you are done. That is your vroom vroom zoom zoom race car bed. This will certainly make your bedroom very epic looking, very impressive. And of course, guys, if you don't like red, all you have to do is change the bed, the wool, and your room color to whatever your favorite color is. I mean, the race car doesn't have to be red. It can be anything you like. But anyway, guys, let's move on to build number two. Now, I'm sure we can all agree that anybody who snowboards or even has a snowboard is like flipping the coolest person on face of planet Earth. If you ain't have a snowboard, you just ain't cool. So if you guys want to be cool, you need to build this snowboard. And to do that, you're going to need four spruce trap doors, two armor stands, two chain helmets, two pistons, and two blocks of redstone. So it's actually really simple. First off, choose where you want your snowboard to go and dig out a too long hole. And then we're going to make this hole two blocks deep. Then grab your spruce trap doors and place two of them at the bottom here. Drop one armor stand down here at the back and then one up here at the front. Make sure these are both facing forward. Then crouch like so and click on each of them to put them in their second positions. Chuck chainmail helmets on both of them. These are going to be our boot holds for our snowboard. Now it looks a little bit odd at the moment, but it'll all come together in just a second. You can grab a random block to do scaffolding here, guys. Doesn't matter what block. And you just want to go up one, two, three blocks high. Then have a piston facing downwards over your chainmail helmet and do the same thing over the other one. And underneath each of these pistons, you want to place a spruce trap door that is in the bottom half 
of your second block. So just about there, guys. You want it to be there. That is super important. Then we're going to do the exact same thing over this helmet as well. Grab your block of redstone, activate both of your pistons, and boom, check this out, guys. You've got yourself a very epic looking snowboard. If you guys haven't seen them before, basically, these two chainmail helmets are the boot locks where you lock your boots in to go snowboarding, and of course, the trapdoors are the board. The best part of this is you can customize it to your personality. If you guys aren't a fan of the spruce trapdoors, you can actually go ahead and use any trapdoor at all to make your boards. Personally, I think an iron board looks really cool because it like blends in with the snow. Either that or a dark oak trapdoor board also looks very cool. Both of them look great, but personally, spruce is definitely my favorite. Now let's move on to build number three. Creepers are afraid of only one thing, cats. So if you want to protect your house, you could just surround it in tons of cats. Or you could build an adorable giant cat guard like we're about to do now. Now I'm going to move a bit quickly on this build because our next one is my personal favorite, the bamboo bridge, which is flipping awesome. You guys are not going to want to miss it. So make sure you stick around for that and do not click off the video. But quickly, let's build this. You're going to need 10 white concrete, 36 black terracotta, one pink terracotta, and finally two honey blocks. Now, wherever you want your cat, go ahead and chuck down one white concrete block, leave a gap and place down a second one. Then come two blocks down and place one block, a gap, and another block repeating what you did before, kind of making this square here where you've only got blocks in the corner. Then grab your black terracotta and on each leg, we're going to do two blocks high. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two, like so. Then we're going to fill in this back half here, leaving this one open. Because this is where we're going to whip back out our white concrete and place that there. Then you're going to want to place a one, two, three above here and come one block out on the left and right hand sides. Go ahead, fill in that center space we've left with pink terracotta. Grab out your honey blocks and as the eyes, we're going to place one on the left side here and one on the right side there. Now at the moment, our cat just looks terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. But trust me, we're going to fix it right up. Whip out your black terracotta once more and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Just kind of filling in the back of the head here and then place one more layer of black terracotta across the top for the head. Now we're going to add two ears. Place one on the left, one on the right, and then a cutesy little tail on the back here like so. And voila! Check that out, guys. We've got an adorable cat statue. If you love cats, you cannot not have this in your world. But anyway, guys, that's the cat build. On to my favorite build of today, the Bamboo Bridge. Personally, I've been looking forward to this build all video, and I reckon a bunch of you guys have been as well. So if that is you and you're just like me, make sure to drop a like down below right now. I want to see how many of you cannot wait to see this Bamboo Bridge. And since none of us can wait, let's get cracking. So you're going to need Four smooth sandstone slabs. Four smooth sandstone stairs. A bunch of bamboo, obviously. A bunch of bone mill, so we don't have to wait for that bamboo to grow. A bunch of string. Then 26 spruce fences. One lantern. Four rabbits. Huh, wonder what they're for. You'll see soon, guys. Four leads. A bunch of campfires. And finally, a shovel of any kind. Now, for this particular bridge, guys, we're going to make ours nine long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, you can make it bigger and smaller, but I think nine blocks is the perfect height. And then as far as deepness goes, guys, you can make the hole as deep as you like, or whether it's across mountains or whatever. It ain't matter. All right, so first we need to mark out where this bridge is going. So wherever it's going, guys, you want to dig out one block and one block on either side of wherever your bridge will be. So our bridge is going to pass through the center here. So I'm gonna build a block on either side. Then you're gonna fill those in with smooth sandstone stairs and directly behind them, you're going to place smooth sandstone slabs. Then do the exact same thing on the other side. Wherever the bridge is going to be, one block to the left, one block to the right, fill those in with smooth sandstone stairs and place slabs behind them. This is going to let us see exactly where our bridge is going to be. Now it's time to plant some bamboo. <laughs> exactly where you've got your stairs lined up, guys, we're going to just plant bamboo all the way across to the other side like so, with the exception of the middle. We don't want to place a bamboo piece in the middle and you guys will see why that is. So four bamboo on this side and four on the other side. 
Then we'll also join these two stairs and place bamboo all across down here, lining those up very nicely until destroying the center one like so. So we got a bunch of bamboo, and I mean, we could wait for it to grow, but I'm lazy. We're going to use bone mill, but we have to do it in a very, very particular way. So the ones directly next to our stairs here, guys, you only want to place three bamboo on these. Oh, not three bamboo, three bone mill. Okay, one, two, three, like so, and do the exact same thing on the other side. One, two, three. For the next two, we're going to use four uh, bone mill. So one, two, three, four. And then one, oh, one, two, three, four. Like so, you guys can see it's exactly one block higher. Now, I'm sure all of you have already guessed the next one, instead of four, we're gonna go five bone mills. So one, two, three, four, five. And then one, oh, one, two, three, four, five. And then the next one again, we're going up again with six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. So now you've got this really nice, Perfectly sized bamboo kind of cas cascade. I don't know what the correct word is for this, but it's like a bamboo staircase, guys. It looks cool, and it looks orderly, and my OCD is happy. We're going to do the exact same thing on the other side here, starting off with these two going one, two, three. One, two, three, and then four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then six, finally. One, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I can hear you all saying, EY Stream, that bamboo is just going to grow, and then your perfectly shaped bridge is not going to be so perfectly shaped. That's where the string comes in. Now I don't know why you can do this, but you can. If you go ahead and place string directly above each of the bamboo stalks, apparently that just stops the bamboo from growing. And what's really great about string is you actually pretty much cannot see it at all from the front. So you guys can see there, look, you can't even see the string on the bridge. It's basically invisible, which makes it really, really good. However, you can see a little bit if you're kind of looking down from the top here as we are at the moment. So if you guys are in creative and you're not in survival, look, this bamboo already grew to ruin my whole thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's let's place one there and then put the bone mill, uh, put the string on top like that and perfect. As I was saying, if you guys are in creative and you have access to commands, I would highly recommend using a barrier block instead of string because that will be totally invisible. So now that our bamboo ain't gonna grow, we're gonna fill in this center here with our spruce fences. We're gonna go oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks high and do the exact same thing on the right hand side. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like so. Then we're gonna join the two of these and place a cute little lantern underneath. Now we're going to add some support for our bridge. So exactly where your bridge is going to be, guys, you're going to place spruce fences coming all the way from one side to the other where our bridge will be able to rest. However, that's actually not going to be enough support because at the moment the bamboo isn't connected to the spruce fences and none of it is really working together to make a nice bridge. But we can join all of the bamboo up to make our bridge by using rope. How do we use rope? Well, we need a bunch of rabbits. Don't worry guys, you'll understand in just a second. Where we've placed these slabs, you want to break them, place one directly to the side here, and then break one block down. Then, now this step has to be done really quickly, so hang with me. We're gonna spawn a rabbit, put a lead on him, and you need to quickly cover him back up with the slab, and then you can destroy this one. Now, attach this lead to the very top spruce fence like so and as you guys can see this creates a rope that joins up all of our bamboo to our spruce fence so it is all nicely and strongly supported now we just got to do that on the other three supports so go ahead and break that down break the block underneath spawn a rabbit attach a lead cover him up attach the lead to the top fence and dunskies now the other side is a little bit different unfortunately it's a bit more complicated we're going to break these two and again we're going to dig a block down but Actually, we need to go two blocks down and then place a slab at the bottom of each of these. Then we're gonna spawn a rabbit in here, attach a lead, cover them up real quick, grab your lead, and this time put it on the second uh, highest fence post like so, since we've already used the top one. Then jump over here and do the exact same thing. Rabbit, lead, oh, lead, and then cover him up before he jumps out. I was really worried we were going to lose him just then, guys. Attach it to your second one and we can destroy these two slabs. Voila, we've got ourselves the support, the bamboo, everything's looking very nice except, well, 
Uh, it's not really a functional bridge. Well, I mean, technically it is. You could walk across uh, the fences like that, but that's not very stylish, and it's also very dangerous. And that's where our next two items come in handy, our fireplace and our shovel. So grab your campfires here, guys, and you just want to go ahead and line these across to the other side above each of your spruce fences. Then your bridge is done. Just kidding, guys. It is a very odd fire at the moment, and we don't want that. Luckily, you can put out your campfires by just hitting them with the shovel, like so, and we'll just do that all the way across here. This so will give you a really cool looking bridge because the layered logs, I don't know, something about them makes them look super sophisticated and work great with the bamboo. But that is it. That is my personal favorite build from today, this bamboo bridge. I mean, how cool does this look? It will look good with anything. But it's not our final build for today. There is actually another build, which is also really, really epic. And trust me, you're probably going to want to see it. You will not want to miss out. So don't click off the video quite yet, guys. Stick around to the end. You will love it. Now, our fifth and final build is really cool because it actually works. And for this, you're going to need three spruce trap doors, an armor stand, a cauldron, a leather cap, one water bucket, a white dye, two dispensers, two pistons, two blocks of redstone, black stained glass, a blast furnace, an item frame, one banner pattern. It doesn't matter which, it can be any banner pattern at all, a stone button, and then just a bunch of paper. Let's get started. So wherever you want this build, you're going to break one block and you want to place a spruce trap door in that hole. Then just grab a random block to use as scaffolding and drop down in an armor stand. Go ahead and crouch and click on your armor stand to put him in the second position. Then whip out your cauldron. We're going to fill this up with water, dye it white, and then dye your leather cap white like so. If you're on Java, you don't use the cauldron. You actually combine the cap with the dye in your crafting inventory. But for every other version, you use the cauldron. Go ahead and chuck that on top of your armor stand. Next, we're going to use my patented double piston system. So we'll place one dispenser to the right of our armor stand, and then you want to come one, two, three, four, five blocks up, I believe, and place two pistons facing it downwards like so. Then place a dispenser underneath here, activate the first piston, and then activate the second piston, and voila, guys, check that out. Now it actually looks like a newspaper wrapped in a, you know, like a leather bind or something. Really, really cool. But to take it to that next step further, we're going to put it in a display case using our black stained glass to really make it shine. So we're going to place a black stained glass here, place a piston facing down, and just go ahead and activate that. And boom, now it looks like newspaper wrapped up in leather inside a nice glass display case. To finish it all off, guys, just a few more things. We're going to need our blast furnace item frame and the other items. Chuck your blast furnace on top of your dispenser by crouching and then clicking. Then, oh, we're going to need those spruce trap doors again, guys. You want to place two spruce trap doors, one on the left, one on the right. Grab your item frame, crouch, place this on your left dispenser and put in the banner pattern. And finally, guys, to make all of it work, you're going to crouch, place a stone button on the right dispenser and fill this up with paper. Done. That is your working newspaper stand in Minecraft. You've got like the really cute newspaper in the glass there. And all you have to do is click this button and poof, you got yourself some lovely daily mail. So there you guys go. That is five secret things that you didn't know how to build in Minecraft. So if you learned at least one new thing in today's video, guys, come on. Do me a favor, drop a like, subscribe for more builds like this, and make sure to go follow my TikTok because there are daily build videos over there. I highly recommend. Link in the description, or you can just search EY Stream. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. It's been a blast. I love having you all, as always. And until next time, EY Stream out. Bye.